Principals in the ambassadors before it was called ambassadors, but now apostles of the Catholic education, the ACE community. This year's Congress, which was known before as ACE Convention, changed this year into Congress. We are so blessed to have a very competent person, a very religious and a pious husband. Uh, he is known as um, Olan, and he was born in January 13, 1987, in Manila. Married to Ma'am Diana Savaliero Sarmiento, with children Rainy, Diesel, Storm, Rainbow, and Snow. Uh, he was a member of a technical working group, TWG, Manual of Re Regulations for Private Higher Education or MORFE, Manual of Policies and Guidelines on the Establishment and Operation of the Public Technical Vocational Education Training or DVET Institution. A resource person revised annual of regulation of private schools in basic education, assistant secretary for legal and legislative affairs, department of education, culture and sports, before known as the DEX, consultant of the legal affairs, office of the music of other secretary Eduardo Antonio Natsura, Department of Education, Culture, and Sports. Executive Director in the year 1996 up to December 1996. Consultant in charge in Congressional Oversight Committee on Education. Chief Legal Counsel in June 1991 to 2000. Coordinating Counsel of Private Educational Association or COCOPEA, Consultant in Legal Affairs, Commission on Higher Education with the Chair, Chairman, Legal Committee, COCOPEA FAPE Joint Commission for Private Education, CARO Fund for Assistance to Private Education, Lecturer in the De La Salle University, Graduate School of Education, Education Laws and Legislation, Board Member, Ministry of Teaching, Foundation Incorporated, Legal Consultant, Panel of Consultants on Teachers' Welfare and Benefits, Governance and Management Financing, Congressional Commission of the Philippine Education, Congress of the Republic of the Philippines, Faculty in National Educators Academy in the Philippines with the NIA, Department of Education, Culture, and Sports, and he has a lot of publications related to education, like a Compendium of School Laws in the Philippines, Volume 1 and 2, Com Compendium of Educational Legislation of Private Basic Education, Comments on the 2011 Revised Manual of Regulation of Private Schools in Basic Education, Education in Laws and Private Schools, 
a practical guide for educational leaders and policy makers in 29 revised expanded edition. Education law and private schools, a practical guide for educational leaders and policy makers. Student rights and roles in edition in 27. Manual for regulation for private schools in 1998. Annotated manual for regulation for private schools, manual for regulations and primer for teaching rights. Manual on the sexual harassment in the campus. His educational background he is a doctor of laws in 2021 in San Beda University. Doctor of laws honoris causa in 2011 in the Northwestern University. Master of laws in 2008 in San Beda College, Mindiola, Manila. Master of arts in education in 2007 in the University of La Salle. Master of Arts, Bachelor of Laws in San Beda College, Mindiola, Manila. Bachelor, Bachelor of Arts in San Beda College, Mindiola, Major in Economics, Minor in Mathematics. His high school background in Ateneo Naga, Naga City. His elementary in Ateneo de Manila University, Quezon City. He has been working at present. He is working as senior partner the firm of Sarmiento, Delson and Resurrection. Member Board of Trustees in San Beda University, Pasig Catholic College, Dean of Law, in San Pedro College, Alabama, Montenupa, Corporate Secretary, Manila Arts Society and Parochial Schools Association, Incorporated, or MAPSA, Merriam College Foundation, Professor in San Pedro University College of Law, San Pedro College, Alabama, School of Law, University of Makati, School of Law. His past work engagement, representative to the 14th Congress House of Representatives, representative a teacher party list, member board of directors, Philippine Charity Sweepstakes for PCSO, Professor of Dela Ateneo de Manila University. Ariano Law School, Miriam College Foundation Incorporated, UE Graduate School of Education, GRU Graduate School of Education, De La Salle University Graduate School of Education, a member, Board of Trustees of Catholic Education Association of the Philippines, or CIA, or CEAP, College of the Holy Spirit. Collegio San Agustin Makati, Holy Trinity Academy, Immaculate Conception Cathedral School, Nazarene Quiapo Catholic School, St. Joseph Parochial School, Chief Technical Staff, Office of the Senator Francisco Tatar, Senate of the Republic of the Philippines, Senior Confidential Legal Researcher, Office of the Assemblyman Roberto Oca Jr., Interim Batasan Pabansa, Board Member, Executive Director, Save a Nature God's Gift of Life Incorporated. He's also a member of the Integrated Bar of the Philippines, 1983 to the present. Member of the Phi Delta Kappa as International Professional Educational Fraternity. Member Board of Trustees, President 
Maryland College Faculty Association. Seminars attended in United Nations Charter Review Conference Simulation, Columbia University in New York, USA. United Nations, the second United Nations Charter Review Conference, Simulation, Columbia University, New York City, USA. Comprehensive Seminar on Labor Laws, UP College of Law. Analytical Survey of Selected Supreme Court Decision on Criminal Law given by the UP Law Center for Continuing Legal Studies. My dear friends, the man that I am referring to, we are so blessed and privileged to have Attorney Olpiano Olan Sarmiento. Please stand and help me welcome, welcome his wife, Ma'am Ma Diane. Himself, 
never referred to him to him as a doctor, as a lawyer, but rather he always wanted to be seen and called as a the great teacher. And that is the reason why I consider this as the most honorable. So I will zero in on some of the vegan issues. And I would just have to immediately go into the matter that I believe in my practice of education and law have been the perennial problem of schools, particularly of the teachers. It is not a matter of you really committing, but rather most of the issues brought to us that would have some legal problems would be simply the ignorance or the forgetting of what our important duties are in so far as our responsibilities in the schools are concerned. So without much ado, I will just have to go through your duties and responsibilities as school personnel. Ito rin po talaga sa aming practice ngayon, this is the root of many of the problems of educational institution aside from the fact of the lack of funds or financing now that we should be getting more from our government. So I will talk about the duties and responsibilities. I know you are aware of this, but stressing them again to you in this convention will make you more aware, particularly if we point out to the particular laws itself that would be the basis for these responsibilities in your school. Alright, so the duties and responsibilities of school personnel. I will divide them into three parts or three groups. Ito talaga ang meet ng inyong responsibilidad, mga teachers ko. And what are things? One, ensure quality education. Quality that we will try to discuss what it means when it is mandated to by no less than the Constitution. Number two, ito po ang mapakahalaga formation of character. Paghuhubog po ng pagkatao ng bawat bawa, ng bawat, ng bawat bata na ma, 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 matuturo at inyo at pangatlo to provide parental care. These are the three basic, most important legal responsibilities of each and every one of us who have devoted ourselves into serving our respective educational institutions. So let us now try to talk about the first, the first one. Ensure quality education. You know, under our constitution, so I hope you would not mind because this is legal, so I will just have to be referring to our existing constitution and legislation on education. So, I will po sa ating saligang batas, we do have what you call the constitutional objectives for Philippine education. Now, I am stressing that it is a constitutional objective because it is one that is mandated for by the fundamental law of the land. Now, pag yan utos ng saligang batas, it means that we are obligated to pursue such objective, whether it is private or public, pare-pareho po ang ating kailangan tumbukin na objektibo para sa edukasyon ng ating bayan. So, hindi po natin pwede isang tabi ito. Subuo po ito ng ating saligang batas. Now, what are these constitutional objectives for Philippine education? Alright, there are two of them that I will point out to you. Number one, right of every student to quality education. Mamaya, tatalakayin po natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng quality education. 
Dan po natin nakikita yan. The Constitution is very clear about it. State protect, promote right of citizen to quality education. So that is the, the very first. Ilang beses nila narinig po yan. Termino yan, quality. But the question that you need to ask now and understand, ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng right to quality education? So we ask the question, what is quality education? So, ito po ay nasa salig ang batas. At yun, nung tinalakay po yan ng Constitutional Commission natin, isa pong paring 